Chesterfield residents and local businesses gather to find out more about the devolution deal offered by the government in the first of a series of public events held at the Winding Wheel on Monday the 11th of July. The deal would see Chesterfield benefit from a share of £900 million over 30 years and £484 million over the next five years to invest in regeneration, provide skills and training for our residents, invest in new housing and improve transport links. Although the deal would see us join the Sheffield City region as a full member, we will firmly remain a part of Derbyshire. The council's leader says it's a decision that hasn't been made lightly. I too have spent many, many sleepless nights trying to think this thing through and determine for myself, am I making recommendations that are right for the town? I have no doubt in my own mind that this is the right place for Chesterfield to be. The deal aims to provide new job opportunities in the borough. It's all about the economy and it's about safeguarding jobs that are within the businesses uh, of Chesterfield today, but also creating lots of new jobs uh, for the people of Chesterfield to access. What I also say it is about the future, the future of these young men and women of the town and borough of Chesterfield. It's about accessing the powers and funding to enable them on leaving school to further their education within the town. Support will be available for young people to give them the skills they need in the business world. And as these young men and women grow uh, and get older, that they have the ability to upskill, to take on new skills that make them more job ready, <coughs> to take advantage of job opportunities within the town and borough of Chesterfield. And when they've grown their businesses, and many young men and women have grown their businesses very successfully out of our innovation centres. But when they want to add a production line and safeguard jobs and add new jobs, there is the ability to access again funding and support to put those new production lines in and to grow their businesses even further. A condition of the deal is a directly elected mayor for the region, which our residents would have a say in choosing. What the government has said is we want access to all that money then there are a number of things that we expect you to do. The first is to add to the combined authority a directly elected mayor. So that is a condition, and that is a mayor, if we do become full members, that all of the people in this room will have the opportunity to vote for. He outlined how the economic case stacks up. If you uh, bring those six local authority areas together, Sheffield, Rotherham, Doncaster, Barnsley, Chesterfield and Bassetville, that geography largely mirrors the real economic geography of the Sheffield City region. 87% of total economic output, 86% of the population, and 85% of the businesses are within that geography. We held a further drop-in event for people to find out more and ask questions at the Market Hall on Friday the 15th of July. We're also holding events at Chesterfield's Medieval Fun Day. You can find us on Central Pavement on Tuesday the 26th of July from 11am to 4pm and also at the Healthy Living Centre in Staveley on Monday the 8th of August from 4pm to 7pm. The consultation runs until Friday the 12th of August. You can fill in the survey online at the Sheffield City Region website www.sheffieldcityregiondevolution.org.uk You can also pick up a paper copy at our Customer Service Centre in New Square. More information on devolutions available on our website www.chesterfield.gov.uk forward slash devolution.